understand why American gangs haven't moved on the Venezuelan gangs yet, we must delve into the psychology of the modern American gangster. Street gangs are born from a culture of retaliation, where conflicts are settled with the barrel of a gun, and respect is earned through fear. But this new threat doesn't fit into the traditional mold of street beef. This isn't about turf wars or drug deals gone wrong, this is about something entirely different, vigilante justice. The Venezuelan gangs represent an invasion, a blatant challenge to the American gang's dominance. However, responding to this invasion would mean crossing into an unfamiliar territory, defending their communities. The paradox is stark. By confronting these foreign gangs, Chicago street gangs would inadvertently become the protectors of their neighborhoods, doing the job that law enforcement has failed to do. But here's the twist. The mindset of the modern American thug isn't programmed for this kind of warfare. Their battles have always been about self-preservation, about holding on to power for their own gain. Suddenly, they are faced with a new type of war, a war that, in essence, turns them into the good guys. And this is where the psychological conflict begins. For decades, American gangs have been painted as the villains of their communities. They thrive on the fear they instill, the power they wield over their blocks. But now, they're being pushed into a role that feels alien to them. Engaging in vigilante justice means fighting not just for themselves, but for the safety and stability of their neighborhoods. It's a role reversal that they're not used to, and it's forcing them to confront a new psychological battlefield. Make no mistake, these gangs aren't scared. In fact, they have the upper hand in many ways. They know the streets of Chicago like the back of their hands. They have the firepower, the manpower, and the intricate knowledge of how to navigate the labyrinth of American law enforcement. But this isn't a war of guns and drugs. It's a war of principles, a war that could redefine what it means to be a gangster in America. The modern American thug isn't just facing a physical battle. They're facing a battle of the mind. Engaging the Venezuelan gangs means accepting a new identity, one that may not align with their core values. It's a war that's not about profit or power, but about protection and justice. And this is what's causing the delay, the hesitation. The American gangster is being forced to evolve, to adapt to a new kind of war, one where the lines between villain and hero are blurred. But the question remains, will they step up? Will Chicago's gangs rise to the challenge? Or will they allow these foreign invaders to take root in their city? The world is watching, and the answer could redefine the future of gang culture in America. Stay tuned as this story unfolds. If you found this analysis intriguing, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the psychology of the streets. Leave a comment below. What do you think the future holds for Chicago's gangs in this new war?